Am I an alcoholic? Only a professional, such as a physician, psychologist, or clinical social worker, should diagnose an alcohol use disorder. Still, some self-assessment tools can help determine if you may show signs of alcohol use disorder. Here are the lists, check yourself. If you have two or more of the following symptoms, you may meet the criteria for an alcohol use disorder. Using more significant amounts of alcohol than intended. Wanting to cut back on drinking but being unsuccessful. Experiencing intense alcohol cravings. Continuing to drink, even when it causes relationship problems, like conflict about your alcohol use. Drinking even when it causes a health problem or mockus an existing health condition worse. Being unable to fulfill duties at work or home because of alcohol use. Giving up other hobbies or activities because of drinking. Having tolerance for alcohol, so greater amounts are needed to achieve the same desired effects. Experiencing withdrawal symptoms like nausea, sweating, or shakiness when not drinking. Spending significant amounts of time drinking or recovering from drinking. Repeatedly drinking in dangerous situations, such as driving while under the influence or becoming injured because of drinking. Alcohol addiction self-assessments. If you read the warning signs of alcohol use disorder and wonder, am I an alcoholic? A few resources can help determine whether your drinking has exceeded moderate levels. These psychological tools have been empirically validated through countless studies and are available for free on the Internet. They include, the CAGE questionnaire, is a quick screening tool that asks four questions. While simple, these four questions can assess symptoms effectively. The Alcohol Use Disorders Identification Test, Audit, is the world's most frequently used alcohol screening tool. It includes tallying the responses to 10 questions to show whether the presence of alcohol use disorder is likely. The T-ACE is a four-question test based on the CAGE that assesses specifically for prenatal alcohol misuse. It asks questions about tolerance and other factors linked to addiction. These assessments are helpful tools, but when you're asking yourself whether you have a drinking problem, it's likely time to reach out for help. Follow up with a doctor or addiction treatment professional for a full assessment and diagnosis. FAQs about alcoholism. The following questions provide additional information about alcohol use disorders. Is alcoholism genetic? Alcoholism is partly a genetic disorder. The high rates of alcohol use disorder present in children of people who have alcohol use disorders hint at the connection, but researchers have investigated the genetic components of alcoholism even further. Looking at identical and fraternal twins and siblings adopted into different families, researchers concluded that alcohol use disorder was approximately 50% heritable, meaning about half of the risk of an alcohol use disorder can be attributed to genetics. Remember that genetics is by no means a guarantee. Many other factors play into the development of an alcohol use disorder. However, having a parent with alcohol use disorder is a risk factor that may make a person more likely to develop the condition themselves. Is alcoholism a disease? Major medical organizations, such as the American Hospital Association, the National Association of Social Workers, and the American College of Physicians, consider alcoholism a disease. The National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism has also labeled alcohol use disorder a medical condition. The disease model of alcoholism states that alcohol use disorder is a chronic, relapsing brain disease. Support for this model comes from the fact that prolonged alcohol use results in structural changes in the brain. These brain changes occur primarily in the brain's reward network, associated with repeated behaviors, learning, and a sense of pleasure. After these changes have occurred, it becomes much harder for people to stop drinking independently. Getting help. When you've decided you need help, the next step is to find professionals with the skills and knowledge required to aid you in your path to recovery. The best treatment for alcohol use disorder occurs across several levels of care, including medical detox, residential treatment, and outpatient services. Many people begin with a medical detox program to help them cope with withdrawal symptoms, and reaching out for help during this time is an important first step. After medical detox, you'll transition to an ongoing treatment program, which may occur on a residential or outpatient basis. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more health content.